Because the comforter came, Yahushua, you didn't leave us alone. You sent the comforter, the mother of all mothers, your own, so heavenly mother, Thank you, beloved Yahushua HaMashiach, Sokosinanakata. Oh, that we be counted worthy to be called your bride, Sokosokotoinakata. Never, never are we smug in that, Sokosokosinanakata. We see how many fall by the wayside, Sokosokotoinakata. Purinakata, Nanayananakata. Hold us tightly to your chest, Sokosokotoinakata. Purinakata, Nanayanakata, Sokosokinanakata. Don't even let there be breathing room for Satan to enter in, Sokosokotoinakata. Purinakata, Charles, closer to you, Yahushua, on the Shabbat day, Sokosokosinanakata. Honor me us while we pray, Sokosokoto. Purinakata, Nakata, with your presence, Sokosokotoinakata. We are yours, Solokoslokotoyanakata. Satan has no claim on us, Solokoslokotoyanakata. It's all because of what you did at Calvary, Solokoslokotoyanakata. This is truly our only weapon we have in this world. There is no other weapon but the name and the blood and the body of Yahushua Mashiach. There is no other weapon. There is nothing, nothing, nothing to combat the evil in this world but one thing. This is why you said to do the communion with you. Soloko soko toko yana nakata paki. Soloko soko soko sina nakata. Orena na yana nakata pokoto. Parena no yana nakata. Holy, 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 holy. Soloko soko sina nakata paki na nakata. You blessed us so mightily. Soloko soko toko yana nakata. This ministry is no longer in lack. Soloko soko sina nakata. Now show us what we are to do, O Abba Yahweh. Show us the land that we are to buy, O Abba Yahweh. So look, us 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 words you have spoken, Elizabeth, are not your own words, for my words are higher than anything that you could ever think. Every time you do communion, every time you become one with me, I do give you my ears, I do give you my eyes, I speak forth out of your mouth, I circumcise your heart, as you offer your hands unto me to do my will, and your feet to me, so I can lead you in the footsteps of the Holy. Now you're understanding, Elizabeth. Oh, how much Satan hates Satan. Have I not said, the more you need blessed, the more you need deliverance from the enemy. This is not just about forgiveness. This is about victory in all areas of your life. Tell them, my children, tell them for me. How many organized religions will just put a wafer in their mouth, a dry wafer that could be nothing more than styrofoam. They forget the price that I paid. There is no repentance of sin first. They drink of the wine and they say words of rote, repetition. There's no heart given to me. And the audacity when another puts the wafer in the other's mouth and he calls himself a bishop and he calls himself the pope. You cannot do this for another. A communion is one-on-one. Now I don't speak of those who are invalid, those who need the help of others to put the bread in the mouth or the cup to the lips for their hearts are in the right place as long as the one who is given the communion heart is in the right place. Tell them, feed my sheep. Tell them, pick up this weapon that has been long discarded, but do not do it with unclean lips. Do not do it with a spirit of unrepentance. Do not do it as a mere ritual. Words written by another man. Give me your heart, and I will speak forth my words. Do not do it while you're in sin. Otherwise, you're drinking damnation unto yourselves. Where is the fear? Where is the fear? 
how many I see and they no longer fear. They stay in their sin. They take the communion cup with sinful lips. I am faithful to forgive, but never do this with an unrepentant heart, for you are only drinking damnation. You are only drinking of curses. Come to me with a repentant heart. Ask me to forgive you of your sins. I am faithful and I am merciful in just one drop of my blood. Just one drop of my blood can save all of humanity if they had just received me. Just one drop of my blood. And look how much more I gave. This is what I want you to tell them. This is a new message I give you. This is a message that is meant to be before the world. This is the only weapon you have. Tell them. Thus saith Yahushua HaMashiach. As you see the weapons pointed at you in so many different directions. Lift up the only weapon I have given you. Those who belong to me. Those who have given their life to me. Those who have asked me to come into their hearts. Those who strive to obey me. Those who strive to please me. Those who worship me and put me first in their life and their love and in their marriage. Lift up this weapon before the enemy. Only my name and my blood. Only through my body. Can anyone be saved? Only through the blood of Yahushua, your Mashiach. Can anyone be saved? There is no name on the face of this world, on the face of this universe. Can anyone be saved? But through my blood and through the price I paid with my body as I laid my life down, no man took my life. No man could murder me, but I willingly gave it. It is I that said it is finished. It is I that commended my spirit to leave. But you do not have a clue what I did during this time you do not have a clue for though yet my body died I did arise and I made an open show to Satan the once called Lucifer and I let him know and lies at all of hell know I'm alive and I took the keys of hell and death from his hands and he cannot send anyone to hell unless it was part of my plan unless their name is not found in the Lamb's Book of Life before the foundation of the world and I cannot lose one I do not lose one. All, all, all whose names are found written in the Lamb's Book of Life before the foundation of this earth, all, 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 all shall be in heaven. The ones whose names are blotted out, as they betrayed me in heaven, they betrayed me on earth. But even that name was blotted out before the foundation of this earth. As they betrayed me in heaven, they betrayed me on earth. All of you work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, for your soul knows where you will go. You're only repeating what's already been done. You see these preachers fall by the wayside. You see them betray the sheep and the lambs. You see them preaching another gospel than what I planned. But as they betray me now, they betrayed me then. For I tell you something in truth that you did not know. And even now, Elizabeth, you struggle to speak forth these words. But there is no such thing as a new soul. For all of earth and all of earth's times have been filled with old souls. This is why I know the number of hairs on each of your heads. This is why I know each one of your names, be they friend or foe. This is why I know when I chose my bride on earth, I already know who was loyal in heaven. This is why I know, and I let Jeremiah know, as he was formed in his mother's womb, as each day of his life was charted out, I knew that I had ordained him as a prophet, because I knew who I could trust. Beware, 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 O sheep and lambs of mine, who, of those who puff themselves up with fame and fortune and fill your airwaves. Beware, 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 beware of those who refuse to preach the message of repentance, who live the life of repentance, refuse to live a life of holiness, refuse to warn the sinners of sin. Beware, 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 O sheep and lambs, for these are not mine, and as they betrayed me before, they now betray me again. O pastors of greed, you know you don't belong to me. You are a farce. You are a fake. My spirit's not in you. I've named the names before through this ministry, and there's so many more that I have not named. But watch them, O sheep and lambs. Have they sold their soul like a common whore just to get the tax-exempt status? Beware, my sheep and lambs, of those who try to put all the religions together as one, of the one world.
world religion there is but one Yah. You have but one creator. Yahweh is his name. Others pronounce it Yahweh. But there is but one. There is but one Mashiach. My name is Yahushua. Call me Yahshua. But don't take the name Yah out and think you're hearing from my spirit. You who call yourself Messianic Jews. So many things you got right. But where you compromise and you no longer have my light. You have taken the name Yah out of my name to pacify the Orthodox Jews. For they know the Creator's name. They believe the Rabbi's lies. But read your own Torah. Read the Bible. How many times is it written? In my name you shall cast out devils. In my name you shall lay hands on the sick. Only in my name. Does not the Bible say this? And in the Torah, in the Tanakh. How many times does it say? In Yahweh's name. What will you do with Psalm 91? You Orthodox Jews. You read so faithfully the Torah of the Tanakh but you take away the power when you do not say you created your protector's name and you have no protection when you do not receive my body and my blood for I am the only begotten son of Abba Yahweh I am the only begotten son and my mother is called Ruach HaKodesh she is mother of wisdom the time is so short now the lambs become sheep overnight I pour forth my truth I grow them up for there is not time to remain babies for long. I demand holiness more than ever before, for evil rages all around. I look for the sparkles of gems when I and my father look upon this earth. See those who belong to me, they sparkle as the brightest gems, as my light shines upon them. But truly you are in, and you are surrounded about with the feces of inhumanity. And I look for the sparkles and the gems, and I know just where they are. And even from heaven I can behold the most precious of my jewels that's every one of you who put me first in your life and your love who strive to obey at all costs who rebuke Satan and let him know he'll have no part of you you are my precious jewels oh the stench the stench the stench it's coming from earth oh the stench the stench the stench of humanity surrounded by inhumanity even my own holy angels cry out can we not yet leave but they've been sent there to protect those whose names are found written in the Lamb's book of life some of you have your greatest battles in your own homes you can get along with your spouse in every way except when it comes to the truth of what I say Say, this is your test. This is your trial. Who would you love more? Who do you desire to please more? Who will you obey? Will you listen to the words they say? Or will you obey the words that I say? What is the price of your soul? For if you cannot make this decision now, I guarantee you, you will not make the right decision in the great tribulation to come. This is your soul. What woman, what man is worth your soul? I gave my body and my blood. I arose again from the dead for all to see that Satan did not have have victory over me so you'd no longer be unequally yoked this is the words I have you say this day you said give me something to feed your sheep and lambs Elizabeth this is what I want you to say this is what I want you to write this is what is to be transcribed by Katrina Yahush was demon stompers Oh, my precious little ones, intercessory prayer warriors, holy before me. Oh, you struggle like anyone. Temptations come at you from the left and the right. But you know to put the Ephesians 6 armor on. You know to stand forth in my name to my blood. This is a ministry that I have given you to be mighty prayer warriors, shield bearers, to cover a mighty wind ministry, to cover Elizabeth and Nico, to cover one another in truth. Season warriors come forth join them in the battle lines my bride of Yahushua HaMashiach come forth join us in the battle lines for there is victory there the more you need deliverance the more you need blessing the more you need healed the more you need forgiven the more the more the more do not discard your only weapon that which you call communion but I tell you this do not take it with a sinful mouth a sinful heart repent before you do this and repentance is not merely words that come out of lips. Repentance is turning away from that which you know is evil. For I am 
faithful and I am true and as you give me your heart and you lay this repentance down before me I will forgive you and for those of you who are listening and reading this you haven't given your life to me yet but you come here and you read the words that I speak forth out of this prophet prophetic ring maiden I remind you of this do not wait to become perfected do not wait until you think oh now I'm holy for it cannot happen like that first you accept me as your Mashiach first you ask forgiveness of your sins first you ask me to live my life within you to take away the evil desires in you to cleanse you with my shed blood and then I clean you up it says a baby being birthed when that baby first comes out it is covered with the body fluids of the mother it has to be washed off it has to be slapped for it to breathe breathe O oh little one come on to me let me wash you off of this world's sins I chastise those that I love so you can breathe in me so my spirit can live within you the Ruach HaKadosh can live in you my precious 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 one I desire I desire I desire to deliver you do not do not do not allow this world to tell you there's no such thing as sin for sinners cannot inherit the kingdom of heaven but forgiven sinners can come on to me all you who labor and are heavy laden with the sorrows and the burdens and the sins of this world give them to me for I will give you rest this is the words Elizabeth I have you to say this day on the Shabbat tell them the Ten Commandments still stand written by Abba Yahweh's own fiery hand they were written on a tablet of stones not written on a paper or a scroll to be erased or changed what is sin then is sin now and beware of any leader that tells you anything different I have more to say but it shall be on another day for the holy shall become more holy and the unholy shall become more unholy and who's who and Hollywood is truly who's who in hell do not mimic the ways of this world for although you are in this world you are not to be part of this world I have more to say but the words I have to say will not be for the world to hear it is for you fives Oh, my beloved little ones, you need a Passover. Those reading these words, those who will hear these words, you need a Passover. You may need to be delivered of your burdens, of your enemies. No matter how humble of a Passover that you do, just do it. Just acknowledge the fact you need a Passover. You need a new beginning. You need miracles from heaven. You need deliverance from the enemy's hands. For I warn you of this, your worst enemies are your own governments in your own land. I warn you of this, America you are doomed I prophesied it again and again and again and again so America I'm going to give you a leader after your own heart you are a bully you are brutish you once were so blessed and now you are a curse unto me and all who follow in America's footsteps all you nations I speak to this prophetic handmaiden so you shall be a curse unto me so you are a curse unto me I warned you Canada don't follow in your sister's footsteps but you sold yourself the government of Canada or Canadians for the price of gold sold itself now embraces immorality embraces the spirit of atheism oh England oh United Kingdom there's nothing united about you once you stood for morality there's nothing moral about you anymore everything I abhor you allow your politicians to embrace you holy ones who sit in America and you say for the first time there's no one to vote for I already gave you the only candidate that stood for morality and Ron Paul is his name so even though your votes won't be counted cast your vote in heaven write your vote on earth for those of you who can I know your heart but do not compromise Obama is an abomination unto me I've said it once I'll say it again John McCain is the son of Cain I said it once I'll say it again Hillary Clinton your soul is as black as black can get there is no lesser of evil running for president all of you are evil in my eyes and the only hope there was the media will not even give attention you see I always have a people and they are the hidden ones oh how few judge were more as I have for they will not speak out like he does America oh how different it would have been if the one you call judge Roy Moore your president he would have been but there's no desire anymore for morality or holiness and it goes from one nation to the next 
I prophesied to this handmaiden of mine what was in the minority would be the majority if you did not fight the sin and now look at the spirit of homosexuality where has it not invaded in because you believed a lie long ago I told this handmaiden of mine in the beginning it was Adam and Eve it was never Adam and Steve never 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 was this to be and so the boiling black blood plague shall be loose you do not have much longer now all those who condone the spirit of homosexuality or who have stayed silent and said just let them do their own thing you shall suffer a plague like none other those who partake in this abomination unto me you shall suffer like none other and those of you who know it's wrong even if you don't belong to me from this sin you have fleed and this shall Shall not come upon you. Speak out now while you still got a voice. You pastors who have embraced the homosexuals so you would not have to confront them, watch and see what I do to you, for you shall share in the same plague. Those who have embraced abortion, not spoken out against it, pastors, you who call yourself leaders and I don't know leaders of mine, you shall feel the pain of that baby. You shall hear the screams in your ears for all eternity, as it will feel like your very skin is being boiled with that saline solution. It shall feel like your body is ripped apart and sundered. Your very heads will feel like they are being cut off. You have not a clue what I'm going to do to you, you mothers who are abort your babies. You have no excuse before me if you do not repent of this atrocity. The blood shall never come off your hands for the screams of the unborn echo in heaven's ears and although they're safely taken home they still want judgment down here. This is what is spoken of in part when you read in the Bible the souls underneath the altar want judgment and they cry out and they say how much longer, how much longer. These aren't just the martyrs who laid their life down for me. These are the unborn born that would have been born who would have been holy before me this is what I tell you in secret that other prophets don't speak this is your fresh manna from heaven not chew on what I've said this day and all of you all of you all of you listening all of you all of you all of you who receives don't forget you need a Passover and for so many of you if you can but just do the most humble I will honor it as another Passover approaches you organize churches I laugh at you you have my resume Direction before the Passover. Foolish, foolish man made religions. Foolish, foolish man made religions. How many souls have been taken to hell because of you? But not one do I lose whose names are found and written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Again I say before the foundation of this earth. No other planet needs a savior but one, the planet that Lucifer was cast down upon. Think about that, for you walk on top of hell. Think about that, as Satan strives to make earth as close to hell as he can, to conform you into his image. Think about that, and praise me, for if I hadn't given that price at Calvary, where would you be? For those of you who have not written this ministry I speak forth out of, you've known, you've learned, and you've received the words I've spoken. Your lives have been changed. You desire holiness where you used to desire sin. What are you waiting for? Why have you not introduced yourself? Why have you not become part of the holy warriors on the wall? Did I not say long ago to this ring maiden of mine, there is no more lone rangers? You need one another. Believe me, Satan's bride is complete. You can go from one end of the world to the next end of the world, and you can find them. They are scattered all over his network. I use this ministry to assemble my holy bride together, for they are holy before me. What are you waiting for? Oh, you see, I I wrote them once and they didn't write me back. See, I'm keeping track. What are you waiting for? それ
April 12th, started at 2.40 p.m., ended at 3.40. Wow, it's Shabbat. P.m. Saturday, afternoon, Shabbat. And I was, I was praying with my husband, woke up praying, and I, I knew there was a word coming, and I kept waiting and waiting and waiting for the word, and I rebuked the devil and praised him, and we did, and, and then all of a sudden he gave the word, obey me and do communion. We never even got to do the communion yet. My husband had it in his hands, and the words came to us, so I could hear. And that's all it was. And that's how it started. Totally unexpected. And we praise you, Yahushua HaMashiach, that my mouth is your mouth. And this day you have fed your sheep and lambs, for that was my prayer. I've known the sheep and the lambs have been going without for so long, and I know they needed a word, and I was praying for that. But until we obeyed, and we got that communion bread and wine in our hand, he did not speak to me. And that's a lesson in obedience. That's all I have to say. Wait, as we look forward to our Passover day, that's going to be like no other Passover before us, in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Amen. Want to add anything? Amen. <laughs> I didn't even have it.